I think people deserve better. I think people are one shitty decision, or one bad habit, or one bad relationship, or one bad friend, or one bad circumstance, or one something away from total disaster, or one good habit, one good idea, one just person taking five minutes to explain something to them. One of those away from greatness, and from living a totally different life, and from bringing other people up with them. I just found out that one of the guys I served in the Navy with lost his life on January 1st, New Year's Day. If anybody out there is Russian, you know that New Year's Day is about as sacred as Christmas. I mean, it's it's the most sacred day. And something about that just isn't right. To have a guy who's in his 20s getting killed on New Year's Day. It's not right. I'm putting up a picture of the last thing that I remember with this guy and that was the ceremony we did at the uh, at the Washington National Stadium in Washington DC there was like 10,000 people probably more watching this little ceremony we did where we basically just presented the colors you know the uh, the American flag and the Navy flag and we went out there and did this whole salute and the guy I'm not gonna get into his business I'm not going to give too many details about him. It's not my place. But the guy holding the American flag, the national ensign, that's him. And because he's holding the American flag on the colors team, he's the head caller. That's the team leader. That's the guy leading the whole team. It's his responsibility to not only lead us in the ceremony, but also to get us to the stadium, to know who to talk to, to know where to park, to know how to set up and break down everything, to talk to the people at the stadium, to train everybody. He's the head caller. He's the head guy. And it's to even get into Colors Platoon, the people presenting the flags, is already very prestigious. And to be in the Honor Guard, the, the U.S. Navy Ceremonial Guard, the Presidential Honor Guard representing, to the, representing the Navy, that's also really prestigious. And so to get to that position, you have to be smart, you have to be very disciplined, and you just have to be... You just have to be a really capable person. You have to be really smart and really disciplined. And I just wanted to say that because it should paint the picture of what this guy was. What he was capable of. And to make a long story short, without getting into it too much, he came from a pretty rough past before the Navy. And I guess after the Navy, that life sucked him back in. It sucked him back in. And it took his life. Also this year, I found out a guy that I was friends with in middle school. Elementary school, middle school. Guy was a total, <laughs> a total nerd, just like me. You know, everybody made fun of him. He never had a lot of friends. I found out he killed himself. A few years ago. I found this out this year. For some reason, I just... I woke up, and for some reason, I just wanted to search his name on Google. I just thought about him. I don't know why I thought about him. What made me want to think about him. But I did, and I looked him up, and I found out he killed himself. And what kind of life he led up until that point. And... Both of these guys losing their life in their 20s, just completely prematurely, should not have happened. It just makes you question, like, why them? Why not me? When I was literally in the exact same position as them? Actually worse, my friend from middle school that killed himself, he, uh, he was a lot smarter than me. He, he was way smarter. He had straight A's. His future was bright. His family was well off. Both of his fam or both of his parents were physicians. Like the guy had his whole life. 
he just had the world at his feet in some ways and i guess not in other ways but we were in the same tiny nerdy circle of friends that everybody made fun of and i guess for some reason things in my life turned out different than his and i'm basically a few months away from living my dream and he's no longer with us and then the guy in the navy we were in the same position actually he was ahead of me i don't think i ever made head caller i uh i got recruited to go into the ceremony planning office before i even had a chance to make head caller so this guy outranked me he was he was high up there in the command and um for some reason something in his life took a turn and he went into the kind of life that set him up for what happened and <clears throat> and now he's not with us anymore and so things like this just make you think and so the reason I'm shooting this video at midnight you know after working 11 hours in the ER and then I got another 11 hour shift tomorrow and by the way it's Saturday and by the way tomorrow's Sunday and the reason I'm just completely unscripted just fumbling through this video is because as soon as I saw that story tonight I found out about this tonight that my buddy from the Navy is dead the reason I'm doing this now is because something just clicked and like I've known my purpose for a pretty long time now I've known I want to practice medicine I've known I want to help people I've known I want to put my knowledge out there on YouTube obviously not so much lately I've been too busy but it's a dream of mine it's a goal of mine to try to help people people who were in my situation people who were in different situations I just like I wanted to help people but that's vague what clicked tonight is the distilled simplified version of my purpose on this planet and that is and that is to do better for people let me explain I think people deserve better I think people are one shitty decision or one bad habit, or one bad relationship, or one bad friend, or one bad circumstance, or one something away from total disaster, or one good habit, one good idea, one just person taking five minutes to explain something to them, one of those away from greatness, and from living a totally different life, and from bringing other people up with them. I think it just takes one thing and tonight made me realize that more than anything and I think that my purpose is to just do that for people through medicine and through media through YouTube through Instagram through whatever it is I get involved in trying to connect to as many people as I can the things that I know and the things that I will learn and that's just trying to do better for people to try to get them to the life that they see themselves in, the life that they want, and not the kind of life that people that I know have succumbed to, and that is obviously <clears throat> that has obviously not turned out well for some people. And also, not as sad, but other people I know who are on their way to disaster, spiraling, and there's nothing I can do for them. But maybe if I had known them earlier in their life, or if somebody who had a chance to influence them earlier before they got to as bad as they are now, if somebody had a chance to influence them and didn't, that's bad. So my purpose is to just do better for people. Another story, another story is my friend, she's 20 years old. She might be 21 or 19. I think she's like 20. Anyway, she's young. Point is, she has this 
rare disorder called thoracic outlet syndrome. And I'm not going to explain what it is, but basically like, you know, nerves um, in your upper extremity are, are pinched off in a way that they see, this is why I don't want to explain things without looking them up first. Basically it's a disease. It's a rare disease of the upper extremity. Um, and basically this person went to their doctors time and time again saying, Hey, my arm hurts. My chest hurts. My back hurts. My arm is feeling numb and just kept getting blown off, brushed off. Like, Oh, it's anxiety. Oh, just ice it. Oh, just take Tylenol. It'll go away. Oh, that's just your anxiety. And then finally, it got to the point where it was bad enough that she needed surgery after surgery after surgery. And now this 20-year-old girl is left with permanent, for the rest of her life, permanent nerve damage in one of her arms. Because some wasn't curious enough, wasn't open-minded enough to listen to her. Over and over again, someone didn't do better for her. Someone didn't do right by her. And now she's got permanent damage for the rest of her life. Someone in my buddy from the Navy's life did not do right by him and tell him, Hey, look, you got a really good thing going here in the Navy. Don't mess this up. Do this instead. Hey, those guys you're hanging out with, they're bad news. Do this instead. Somebody... In my friend from middle school's life, way down the line, when things went really bad for him, didn't just take a minute to listen to him or just say, hey, man, let's let's hang out, even if they found him annoying or even if they found him whatever, like unlikable, didn't just take five minutes out of their day to just listen to him sincerely without judgment or didn't like take him out for a piece of pizza or whatever. Just let him know he's a human. That may have been all it took. Or that times, you know, 20. 20 people doing that. Or the same person doing that 20 times. I don't know that that's, that could have changed anything. But I bet you it would have made a difference in his life. And maybe he would still be here today. And so, <clears throat> I guess in a vague way... See, this is why I shouldn't record without scripting things out. I don't even know if this makes sense. But I guess that's what I'm saying is the reason I'm making this channel. Maybe I'll explain this first. Almost everybody who reaches out to me by email or who gets one of my services to edit their CASPA essay or do a mock interview. Almost everybody who I help to try to get into PA school is either from a foreign country, has English as a second language, or is from some poor, underprivileged background where they just didn't have mentorship and nobody told them how to get into PA school, how important grades were, how to get good grades, how to study. All this stuff that's taken me 10 years, because I sucked in college, I sucked in high school. All this stuff that's taken me 10 years to figure out. Nobody taught them. Nobody taught me. And so all these people reaching out saying, you know, I really wish somebody would have explained this to me five years ago. Some of these people are in their thirties and they're saying, is it too late? You know, can I really actually become a PA or a doctor or whatever they want? And they're saying, you know, I'm 31, I'm 34. I don't speak English very well. My grades aren't good. I have all these obstacles now because I didn't have the mentorship. Nobody explained this to me. And I resonate with that so much because that was exactly my situation. I went to an okay school. I went to an okay college. I just, nobody told me in a way that I understood how important it was to get really good grades, how important it was to have a plan and execute it. How to study, like simple things, how to study, how to actually get good grades. Nobody explained that to me. My parents didn't know. They could barely speak English at the time. My friends that I hung out with, some of them knew, but I don't know. They just kind of figured that I knew as well, or I don't know. The point is, 
simple things. Simple things like how to get into graduate school, the things that you need and how to accomplish them. How to study different kinds of classes. How to get good grades. How to try to meet how to remain disciplined in order to do all those things. How to reach your dreams step by step. It's possible. It's possible for anybody. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And it's possible. And just, I'm realizing more and more that it's just one idea, one knowledge gap, one simple step-by-step instruction. People are one idea. People are one knowledge gap. People are one step-by-step instruction away from reaching their dreams, and they just need someone to explain these things to them. I needed that. It took me a decade to learn the things that could have probably been taught to me in a week if I had someone to teach me and if I was open to learning. And so that's my purpose. That's the reason I am making this channel is to fill in some of those knowledge gaps and to try to help people reach their dreams who really do want to practice medicine and who can become awesome, compassionate providers that can really relate to their communities. I want to get more of those people into PA school, into medical school, nursing school, whatever your dream is. That's what I want to help you with. That's why I'm making this channel. How to get into school, how to interview, how to write an essay, how to study, how to make a plan and execute, how to feel confident about yourself. All the things that I'm talking about on this channel all the things that I want to teach on this channel that took me 10 years to figure out, I want to explain to you in a 5 to 20 minute YouTube video that if you're open to learning, I want to be able to be that person that makes that difference and gets you to reach your dreams. That's my purpose in making this channel. And I think I realize that tonight more than ever before, with more clarity than I've had ever before. And so... Yeah, it's 12.15, I need to be up at 6.30 tomorrow, and I've got an 11-hour ER shift, and yeah, so I'm going to sign off, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to try not to edit this video too much, because it's just brutal honesty, and it's just me, and it's no planning, it's just what I feel, and what I realized when I was reading that story of my buddy from the Navy who lost his life on New Year's freaking day, and like how fired up I am about doing this and about practicing medicine, by the way, correctly. And as well as I can, I'm not saying like I'm doing it correctly and other people are not like, are you kidding me? No, I'm a student. Like, I don't know what correctly is, but what I do know is that I'm going to care about every single person I take care of. And if they're telling me, especially more than once time and time again, this doesn't feel right. This hurts. I'm at the very least going to do my best to look up any possible thing that they could have. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm naive. Maybe it's because I'm just a student and I haven't practiced medicine and I haven't been, you know, I'm not cynical yet. I'm still optimistic and I'm still idealistic and I don't know. But that's my purpose in life, in this channel. And in practicing medicine is I just want better for people. I want better for people. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I want you to do. Yeah. That's all I got. I hope that made sense.